what is up guys welcome back again to the channel welcome back to a new vlog ladies and gentlemen we are currently here getting loaded up in jersey going back down south to tennessee you already know another day in paradise it's raining a little bit hopefully it's just rain because supposedly the weather said that i don't know if you guys can see but that's snow i mean it's been there for a while now but um, Supposed to where it said that this rain can become ice. Hopefully, that's not the case today because this is my last week, man. It's time to go home. So I pick up today, I deliver tomorrow, and I don't have nothing yet going back home, but I'll figure something out Wednesday. The reason why I don't pick up something tomorrow is because tomorrow's Tuesday, and I don't deliver till like 3 p.m. So I don't want to, I have a delivery appointment around 3 p.m. So I don't want to get a load and I'll be able to to pick it up. Just to, usually when I'm going, they pick you know they they take my load earlier, but I don't like to book a load unless I'm already unloaded. So I rather just book it for Wednesday instead of tomorrow. You know. Anyways, pretty simple parking spot. Pull forward, pull back. So uh, yeah, let's do it.
man, look at that. That looks nice. Look at that. KW. That's an older truck too, I don't know, I mean, I don't know what year it is, but it looks real nice. Damn. Anyways, we stopped here. I'm gonna go ahead and go inside the chrome shop. Gotta buy me a little light uh, for my visor that went by, so. Who knows, maybe if I see something else, we can get it too. Well, I'm gonna have to wait till I get down to Miami because they didn't have one here. Yeah, uh, Pete. Nice. Yeah, I didn't have one here, so, I mean, what can we do about it, right? Look at that. Nice truck, man. Clean and simple. So, yeah, guys. I didn't have a damn light. kind of sucks. Um, I was really hoping to get one so I could put it on, but, I mean, it is what it is. And I know that by the time I go back home, that I go through Wildwood, it's probably going to be late at night, so it's gonna be closed. Maybe exit two in Georgia. But, I mean, it is where it is. We tried. <laughs> we tried to get a light. Anyways, we're gonna take a nap about an hour or so, and then we're gonna ride out. Continue from there, from here. Sir, yes sir guys it is the next day well we already started our day right i just want to show you something that i just want to show you guys we are unloaded and everything i already pulled my pins out i'm gonna go ahead and, and uh move my tandems forward my dad actually unloaded before me so we're good thank god got us out this trailer put my bars up there but we'll do that now um, like I said, I'm gonna move my tandems forward and I'm gonna head out. I'm gonna go back to the Walmart. I do pick up again tomorrow, guys. I pick up again in Georgia. But I mean, it's like one o'clock in the afternoon, so I'm gonna chill here probably to like later, 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 night, later, later tonight. And then uh, we'll go from there back to, uh, what do you call it? Back to Georgia. Gotta check my time, I forgot. I think he said I load up tomorrow around. I don't know, I think he said 8 in the morning or something like that, so I want to make sure I'm there. much just wanted to uh give you a little update of what's going on all we're gonna do is like i said you know go to the walmart stay there take a nap and leave there tonight man leave there tonight oh i didn't put them where i wanted that but that's fine i usually put them so i have my setup the way i have it my sweet spot in the truck and trailer when i'm when when i look okay so when i when i book a load and the load is between 35,000 and 40,000 pounds. My tandem, I put my tandem right here, where this light is at, right here. It's always 32 something up back here and then 32 something in the front. Obviously that varies if the load is loaded all the way to the back like now, this trip down, I was literally loaded all the way to the back. Even though I wasn't heavy, the ride wasn't as smooth because my tandems were pushed forward. So what did I do? To be honest, I put them right right about here and obviously the ride got way way better because when you're too loaded in the back you get a jumpy ride in my truck when i'm when i have more weight in the back i get a jumpy ride 
some trucks are different some i mean not some trucks every truck is different so maybe uh it won't work the same way for somebody else's truck I just, i'm just telling you what i do but uh i hope that makes sense but um yeah anyways let's head out yes sir yes sir we just made our pick up here guys we have two stops west palm beach and medley let's go let's go man let me tell you this morning coming over here <laughs> there was a traffic there traffic jam of an accident in uh marieta georgia that's right before atlanta oh man ridiculous I'm talking about bad it was real bad but anyways and god we came over here we came straight into our door we are loaded and uh let's go let's head out let's head out we're like 800 i mean 800 we're like 500 and something miles to uh my first destination so i gotta push my tandems forward obviously and then get out of here stopped here next to 201 got me a subway i already had lunch but i also got me some lights uh the three quarter lights guys i had a I have a bad visor light and I got one. Obviously, I got two more for spares just in case. But, um, yeah, I make sure that the guy that was parked next to me didn't cause any damage, right? We also scaled the truck. <clears throat> I want to show you guys the scale right now. Give me one second. This is a minus 10. Let me show you the lights. This is a minus 10 degree low. Not my <clears throat> type of low, but you know how it is. So I got three of these. Let me show you guys the scale ticket. <clears throat> 32, 380 in the front, and then 21, 320 in the back. Kind of sucks, man. Let me show you something. I hate this. This sucks, but I mean, I'm going to... To a location i don't know i'm going to a costco i don't know if they're gonna check my seal or not so i do have my my tank here for the trailer i had to put it in here because the last thing i want to do is put it back there and break that seal and have an issue you know so uh anyways let's go man look at that look at that sleeper that's what i need i already got the stretch so that's what i need Anyways, let's ride out, let's ride, let's continue this trip. truck wash we are here in exit 60 in uh, Georgia wait for it's got to back up I guess he has some dirty parts in his truck so I have to redo something so yeah we're here in exit 60 now guys we've got a truck wash we're moving along pretty good I'm gonna drive for about another hour and take a break I'm gonna stop during uh, exit Exit uh, 2 of Georgia, so I can put some tires shine on my tires. Go inside the chrome shop and then go from there, right? right it's already getting hot. <laughs> it's crazy how cold it was up there and now it's hot over here. So, yeah. 
Let me move away from this guy because I think he needs some space. Let me move away. All right, so we're here at the Chrome Shop, making it look a little better. Check out that classic. Looking good. All right, look at that. Got a nice stretch on it. Polished out. Hey, that's nice, man. Shout out, shout out. Looking good, looking good. I'm here, guys. You guys know I washed the truck, like I said. Um, but there's always little marks here and there, little stuff. Little water marks, little dirty here and there. Look, see? So I always like to wipe it down and make sure I don't have none of that. I'm, I've been using this, guys. If you guys have not tried this, look this up, man. I mean, this thing is... It's very, very good. It's for, for this stuff like that, you know. It's not for... Obviously, the truck looks like crap, the whole thing. You're not going to clean the whole truck like that, but if it has little marks here and there, that's perfect. I already did this side, and look at it. Spotless. Unfortunately, I cannot clean that up there. It's dirty, but I can't clean it, obviously, because I don't reach up there. But like I said, that thing is spotless. Look, spotless. And all this right here had little marks, water marks. So... That's good. It's a, it's actually a very good product. Like I, like I said, and you know, it's not even a sponsored video, but it really is a good product. And I do that part two up there. Um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, I mean, after here, I'm gonna go across the street, take a nap for like an hour and a half, and then I'm gonna continue my trip down to uh, Miami. Well, I have two stops. I have one in West Palm and then one in Medley. So. Let's continue. Check it out. Check it out. All shined up. Look at that. Mm. Looking good. Looking gorgeous. Hopefully. <laughs> hopefully doesn't, right? Doesn't rain on me, right? Looking good. All shined up. I got me a little something here at the chrome shop now. But I am going to show you guys uh, tomorrow. I hope you guys like this. Because I've, I've been... Wanted to buy this for quite a while. And I know that once I put this on and I put the duck on and stuff like that, it's gonna make the truck look real good, real, real good. So, uh, yeah. y'all so i made it to my first stop it's a costco here in west palm beach but but i tell you man it's crazy it's crazy the way these these shippers work man so you guys saw that place that i got loaded at right you guys know you guys seen it seen it in previous videos you guys know that that place loads you up so you back in with the doors closed they open the doors from the inside and then they load it and then they lock you up in place right well turns out that Man, I tell you, they loaded me completely wrong. Completely, completely wrong. Thank God that it wasn't a heavy load because I had to move all my tandems to the front. And even then, the fifth wheel was extra heavy compared to the back. I had 32,000 something up front and I had 21,000 in the back. You know, they loaded me completely wrong. They should have spread out the whole load to the whole trailer. And the funny thing is that not only that, The funny thing, I don't remember saying that. The funny thing is that they let they left me with a single pallet right in the middle. Like that doesn't make that doesn't make any sense. They let literally one single pallet at the end of the whole load right in the middle. Not to one side, not to the other, right in the middle. I tell you, man. <laughs> I tell you the things that, that we see, the things that we gotta deal with. And then obviously I had low bars inside and then I didn't even put them on. I tell you, man. What if that pilot would have flipped over? You know, it would have been an issue for no damn reason, right? I tell you. Anyways, um, as soon as we're done here, we're going to go ahead and head out. Go to our next delivery down in Medley, Florida. And uh, go from there. Hopefully, they don't take too long. That way I can head out and get down to, you know, Medley or Miami, whatever you want to call it, before traffic starts to back up. So, uh, yeah. We have made it to our second delivery, guys. And I'm tired. <laughs> My head hurts a bit because I haven't slept. Look at those two trucks over there. They look real nice. 
I parked outside because it's my first time coming to this location. Um, so yeah, I parked, be I parked behind that gentleman there on the side of the road. I already did my check-in. He said that, he said, give him a minute. He's gonna call me once he has a door ready for me. So I guess all we can do is wait, right? That's pretty much all we can do. Oh, bad dad. Ooh. Ooh, I'm tired. <laughs> man, I can't wait, man. I can't wait, can't wait, can't wait. I've been out, man. Been out for a minute. Been out for a month and a half now, so can't wait to go home. Thank God that we were able to find this low coming down south and we didn't have to come empty, you know? That's always a plus. Check out Gigi. She's looking good. Looking all clean. Looking all nice. Voila. Like I said before, not my favorite low, but not my favorite temperature load. But it is what it is. Every now and then I like to run something like that you know just to make sure the unit's doing good got that tire shine on low these these tires you gotta fix that mud flap hanger even though i straighten it out you can't really tell but i know that it's there so i know the damage has to get fixed got the seal on oh man I'm just talking I'm just talking junk right now right <laughs> oh that's fine let me go let me go ahead and uh wait till they call me so we can get our door and back it up get unloaded it's only a few pilots so it should be fairly quick I hope so got my door door 49 check this beauty check this beauty out Man, you know what? He's, man, he looks longer than me. Oh, I know why. Because his fifth wheel is slid to the back. That's why. See, look where his trailer's at. Look where mine's at. That's why he looks longer, because his trailer is all the way back here. Real nice truck. Look at that. Real nice truck. Truck, nice trucks. Is he on airbags? I don't know. I know he's lower than me, but I don't know if he's on airbags or not. Oh, he has a cat motor in it. Yes, sir. I don't think he's on airbags, but you see how it stands? It looks nicer than my truck because I'm too lifted up here. I gotta get me like a car axle hauler. Uh, Actual or something like that, you know, so I can lower this. Yeah, that'll get airbags. But the airbags right now, expensive. 